Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys know I read every single DM everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, all the comments on YouTube. I always ask you guys to comment. What do you want to see next time? Coming up on whitetail season here. Tons of you guys have been asking for 350 Legend stuff. So, just for the sake of example, I've got tons of 350 Legend stuff. Woo, baby. And that's not all I got. That's just all that I could grab and not fall down. But probably my favorite 350 Legend loading is this one right here. And I need to find some more. So if you know where some is, let me know. Send me a message. The Winchester Super Suppressed 255 gram. Why do I like it the best? Well, let me show you a clip right here because it's quiet. Now I'm going to put in three of these Subsonics. Definitely more quiet. A whole lot more quiet. And the drop actually isn't too much off from the supers. Oh, these are grouping good. Man, these might uh, have to put the hurting on a deer this deer season. Hmm. But, hey. That was pretty awesome. But here's the point of this whole video. Suppressed 350 Legend is awesome, but one of the main questions you guys ask me for is, other than just do more 350 Legend videos, is which one should I use? Well, hey, this is my Ruger American in 350 Legend. It's pretty sweet. It does a real good job with uh, just about everything. It does a great job with a handful of 350 legend loadings and that's what the basis of this video is is which one of these does best out of my ruger american 350 legend so let's roll that footage check it out hope you enjoy the video a bunch y'all been asking for 350 legend stuff i've got a big smile on my face because i am super excited about what we're fixing to do for this video it's gonna be a big old pain but it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day this is the Ruger American Ranch rifle in 350 Legend. I specifically bought that one because tons of you have the Ruger American Ranch, and I also have the 450 Bushmaster, so we could do a bunch of comparisons with those 16 inch barrels. But what we're going to do, this is for all you hunters out there, or people that just like to do some precision planking with your 350, I almost said 350 Bushmaster, 350 Legend. We went out and did something crazy. We've got just about every type of 350 Legend ammo that you can get. From light stuff all the way up to really heavy stuff specifically made for some suppressors up to some pretty awesome match grade level stuff. Let me run you through the ammo real quick. I'm going to shoot 100 yard groups. I'm like three minutes into my monologue and I haven't even said what we're going to do. We got all this ammo. It's all 350 Legend. I bet y'all didn't even know there was this many different types of 350 Legend. And I'm going to shoot them all at a three-shot group at 100 yards. And, yeah. You guys will know what, what the Ruger American likes best. And I'll know what I need to take hunting. We're going to get the proof here. I'm going to do my absolute best. Shoot the rifle out of a vise at 100 yards. Going to get it on film. Let me show you all this ammo. Can you tell I'm excited about this video? It's going to be a pain to film and edit, but... It'd be worth it. Let me show you all the all the uh, ammo real quick. All right, so close up on this ammo here, we got some Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain, and we've got some Browning 124 grain full metal jacket. I think that might be the lightest. We got some Federal non typical 180 grain. Go back up to the top. We got some Winchester 160 grain Power Max bonded. Then we got some Full Metal Jacket Winchester White Box 145 grain. We got some what is this 155 grain Browning BXR Rapid Expansion. It's got a picture of a deer, so it must be good for deers. Then we've got some of this Bear Creek Ballistics 160 grain. That's the stuff, to tell you the truth, that I'm the most excited to try out. That stuff should be pretty good. Then we got some Federal Power Shocks, 180 grain. Also has a picture of a deer. 
Then we got some, we'll go back up to the top. Hornady American Whitetail. What's that? Um, 170 grain stuff there. 170 grain. Then we've got some crazy heavy 250 gra 255 grain Winchester Super Suppressed. And then we got some heavier Winchester Super X, 180 grain. But yeah, we're going to run down the row, try to make this not an hour long video. I'm going to get back there to 100 yards and we're going to do three shot groups. Should be a whole lot of fun. All right, so check this out. Here's our rig. We've got seven plates up here on the range, and each one of them I've labeled. You can see there Bear Creek 160. Winchester 255. We're gonna get it all on film and then Our rig here only holds seven so then we're gonna have to do another batch of four after that, but Don't forget to subscribe to heavy metal. It'll be the first link down below Tell Paul you appreciate him helping us build this little rig here for this scientific video Here we go now first three shots are gonna be the Bear Creek ballistics I'm gonna put up in the corner all the ammo as we're shooting it Go three shots of this Bear Creek stuff. See what we can do here. I'm gonna try to do my best for every single one of these here. Got this scope on 12 power zoom. Pretty near close. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, I sighted this rifle in with some 180 grain ammo, so they're not all gonna hit bullseye, but we should be able to see the groups. That one right there might be within an inch there. Next is going to be the 255 grain Winchester subsonic stuff. 255 grain. I think this is the heaviest stuff here. Three shots of this stuff. Same hold and everything on all these rounds. Yeah, so that's dropping about a foot. The next one is gonna be this Hornady, uh, what is this called? Uh, American Whitetail. This should at least be on the paper how this thing's sighted in. This is 170 grain. Hmm. So far that whitetail uh, looks like it's doing the best for us. Go on to the next one. Uh, the federal non-typical 180 grain. Had it the same hole. Wow. That's three in the same hole, guys. Three in the same hole. Man, this is why I love doing these videos. All right, so next one is 180 grain Super X PowerPoint from Winchester. 180 grain. Really good group there too. Two in the same hole. Next, we got the 145 grain Winchester Full Metal Jacket. It's about the cheapest stuff you can find. But <clears throat> let's see what, what hits with these. Last one's a little bit far. So here we go. Uh, last one on this run is gonna be the Blue Box uh, Federal Power Shocks. Let's, uh, let's get set up for the rest of those and at the end of the video I'll put them all side by side. I might do another group just so we can say it wasn't cold barrel group. Uh, but yeah, let's go set up some more plates. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Round number two. So, 
first three this time. This is the Browning BXR 155 grain. These are silver, uh, silver brass. I don't remember how much these cost either, but I said they're probably more expensive. Let's we'll see what kind of group they get, see if they're worth the money here. All right, so my battery died on this camera. So some some of those past shots, you didn't see me actually pulling the trigger, but we got the footage of the plate being hit. We got two more to test out. This one right here is 160 grain Winchester Power Max bonded. Doing the same hole, so that's pretty good. All right, so the very first one I did was the Bear Creek Ballistics. Like I said, I want to give them another benefit of the doubt because they were the only ones that had cold bore babies warmed up. Let's do a last, last attempt here with the Bear Creek stuff out of the Ruger. So we had two in the same hole. Here's two more of the Bear Creeks. And Paul's giving me the thumbs up. That was four in the same hole there. So let's go up to the tail before it gets dark and just kind of show you the whole spread, you 350 legend fans, you. All right, holy nuggets of fire. I don't know about you guys, but that was super exciting. These are the kind of videos that I get excited about. They cost a whole lot of money, take a whole lot of time, but I think it's worth it. Check it out. I've got all this ammo and these plates lined up. Go ahead and pause that sucker, but I'm going to run down the rows and show you exactly what we got. That last one with the Bear Creek, holy nuggets, four just about in the same hole. That's pretty wild, but check it out. <clears throat> This is not in the order, this is just in the order that I laid them out on the table. But here we go. Federal Power Shock 180 grain. Two in the same hole. One, uh, probably about an inch away. These are not perfect measurements, we just drew some lines. So, two in the same hole, one an inch away. Winchester 145 grain full metal jacket. Two pretty close to touching, and one about an inch away Winchester Super X PowerPoint 180 grain pretty fantastic group for some cheap hunting ammo two in the same hole and one touching that's pretty good pretty impressive then we got the federal non-typical 180 grain look at that three in the same hole that's three shots, guys. Three in the same hole. That's some good stuff. Also, some of the cheapest you can get. Now, this stuff is typically a little bit more expensive, but normally good. 170 grain Hornady American Whitetail. That's our group we got out of that. None of them touching, but still good enough to take a deer. So, Winchester Power Max Bonded, 160 grain. Pretty impressive. That's three shots, guys. Two in the same hole, one almost touching. Pretty good stuff. Now we got the Browning 124 grain full metal jacket. Check this out. Three touching. Pretty impressive groups out of that Browning stuff. Now we got the Browning BXR 155 grain. Two touching, one almost touching. Pretty good stuff. Then we got some Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain. And these are the extreme points. I got that little plastic tip. 
two touching, one maybe a quarter inch away. So absolutely probably good to shoot your deers with. The last one I'm going to show you, this is the Bear Creek Ballistics 160 grainers. First group, again this was a cold bore, first three shots, not too terribly impressive. If we would have stopped there, that probably would have been the best, or the, the worst out of everything. But, I kind of didn't want to believe that. So I did another uh, group there at the end. You guys saw it on film. That is four shots. I think that might have been the first one. I'm not sure. But that right there, guys, that is four shots. So the uncontested winner, guys, is that Bear Creek Ballistics stuff. And, um, yeah. That's pretty impressive, but all in all, there wasn't a, a ammo that was absolutely terrible, was it? No, at all. I mean, well. I'm going to chalk that up to this video being um, shot by a crazy impressive shooter. Just saying. <laughs> okay, that was half a joke. Maybe it was a full joke. I don't know. But um, you got to give props to the weapon and the scope. I'm not an expert shooter, but I did use that vise and I lightened that trigger up as light as it would go just so I could give all these the benefit of the doubt. But that was a long video. I enjoyed filming it. Again, big thanks to Heavy Metal Paul. Y'all go subscribe to his channel down below. He did a bunch of the camera work on this video and setup, so I appreciate him. Go subscribe and tell him you appreciate him. Comment down below any more ideas for 350 Legend videos. Maybe we do all these on the chronograph. Hmm. There you have it, guys. My Ruger American. Seeing how we can do with the 350 Legend. Now, most of these are Winchester loadings. Well, that's because Winchester is the one who came out with the 350 Legend. So, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite loading? These videos are some of my favorite ones to put together. Just testing out a whole bunch of stuff, taking a, a day at the range and slowing down, having some fun, seeing what they like best. But appreciate y'all watching. Truly, truly have the best viewers out there. Y'all already know that. But comment down below what you want to see next time. If you like 350, we also got a bunch of 450 Bushmaster videos up. I bet you we got 40. 450 Bushmaster videos up. Y'all check them out. Just type in Hootie Hoo 450 or whatever else you want to see for that matter. Appreciate y'all watching. We got tons and tons of new stuff coming out. I'm super excited about Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie Hoo! Oh.